Hi, I'm Patrick, and this is the Mach-E Vlog. We're here at the Detroit Auto Show, and we're gonna get a first look at the Mustang Mach-E Rally Edition. Not one of them, but two. So let's go. If you don't know, Ford just announced this a couple of weeks ago. This is the Mustang Mach-E Rally version. It's gonna be coming out in early 2024. There are some differences and it's not a full, like we're gonna go and enter this into competitions. It's just meant that like, if you want to do a little bit of like dirt road driving, this is the Mach-E for you. And they've done some performance enhancements as well. But first let's just talk about the looks of it. They've, uh, of course, they have the like fog lights up here. The front grille is completely different than the one on the regular Mach-E GT. The front splitter is also different. Uh, it's a little bit, it feels like it's a little bit more firm. It's not gloss piano black. It's like a gray metallic look. Uh, looks a little bit more durable, but otherwise the front is still very similar to a Mach-E uh, GT. Um, it is raised up slightly. I believe it's uh, just under an inch higher uh, than the normal Mach-E GT. But then on the side, this is where some of the really great differences are. These uh, 19 inch white wheels are fantastic looking in person. It looks really good. You can see inside, it's, uh, there's the red brake calipers. They're the same Brembo brake calipers that are on the Mach-E GT Performance Edition. Uh, it also has Magnaride, just like the Performance Edition, but it's specifically tuned. They've changed the suspension for rally mode, so that's very cool. Uh, of course, it has a big, instead of the, the little Mach-E badge here, it has the Mach-E Rally uh, logo here. There is some paint protection here. Uh, I'm trying to see where the line is. They said they've added it. Maybe they haven't added it to, to the pre-production. But again, no piano black. This is sort of a, a matte black instead. Inside, we. The vehicle is locked. We're gonna to try to see if we can get it unlocked. If so, we'll insert that footage here. And if not, you didn't see footage, but we'll just tell you there's some uh, white accents on the steering wheel, on the seat. The dash has a slightly different texture as well. So there's some, some changes to the interior. And I don't know, the back is tinted, but the back seats, or the, the back of the front seats is uh, like a gloss <laughs> white which is pretty interesting. And it's not the full, it's sort of like the, the framing of the seat is gloss white. Uh, again, up here, instead of the piano black, it's like a matte black. I really like the matte black versus piano black. Uh, the pillars, the A pillars, the C pillars, or not the A pillars, but the, the B pillar, the C pillar, they still have piano black. But up here, matte black, you'll notice the roof is not a glass roof. It's only available with the black steel roof and apparently that's uh, to keep the weight down. I think also to keep the cost down. Uh, and then of course back here is the massive additional uh, spoiler that's sort of like the Focus RS spoiler inspired by that. Looks really fantastic in person, very aggressive and flows very well because one of the things, like you can get some aftermarket spoilers for the Mach-E GT, but this one, because it's like built in, looks really fantastic. And again, I really like the fact that it's not piano black. Grabber yellow is fantastic. Uh, I, I know when they first released the Mach-E, one of the things they said is like, they sort of had to go with a lot of grays and whites because it's such a large vehicle. But I think they're realizing it looks really good in stuff like Grabber Blue, Cyber Orange, grabber yellow that we have here. Uh, it's also gonna be an eruption green. Uh, we have a new color over there. I forgot the name of it now. I'll uh, insert that maybe, or we'll just, I'll remember it in a second. Um, but again, in the back, it's fairly similar to the Mach-E GT Performance Edition. There's no GT badge. That's something I hadn't seen covered, but there's no GT badge on it, uh, which makes sense because it's not a GT rally, it's just a Mach-E rally. So uh, that's pretty interesting. So uh, let's keep continuing around. Again, 19 inch wheels. They have the cross climate too. 
uh, wheels, on, uh, tires on here. So should have some great like dirt gravelly performance. Now overall, one of the interesting things is, is like the Maki -E GT Performance Edition uh, is zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds, at least in 2023. We don't have stats for 2024. This is a 2024 model. It's gonna have uh, 650 pound-feet of torque. They're targeting 3.5 or under for the performance on this one, which is really interesting considering the tires on this should probably slow it down a little bit. So the additional torque compared to the Maki -E GT Performance Edition is gonna help that. We don't know an official stat just yet. We do know that they're also targeting 250 miles of range. So on the regular GT, you get 270. On the GT Performance Edition, you get 260. On this, you get 250. Um, and that's probably the, the reduction in range is probably the grippier tires or the knobbier tires, as well as the ride height being slightly higher. That's probably where the little 10 miles of difference comes in. But uh, there's supposedly some underbody protection. So I'm gonna grab the camera. I don't know if we're gonna be able to see what they're doing underneath, but this is like literally the first look. I haven't done this and it looks the same. I know you can't see this, sorry about that. There we go. So we're looking under here. It looks the same protection up uh, over here. And of course, this might be just an early prototype, but I'm gonna do the same thing around front and see if there's any protection under here that I can, and it just said underbody shielding. And yeah, okay. So I'm reaching under here pretty tightly, but it looks like, and just hitting that, it looks like it's a uh, plastic up here, but metal back there. So there is definitely some type of a uh, little bit of shielding here to protect the uh, motor area as well as getting back to the battery. Let's get his knee a little bit getting up here. And then you can see the, the cross climate twos, the, the tire tread on that. And then let's go over and take a look at this new, I think it's a glacier gray is, is the color. So we'll get a close up look at this. I believe it's a new color coming on F-150, maybe the Lightning, uh, but it's new for the Mach-E. And then uh, here are the stripes and they're not just black stripes. If you look up close, there's a little bit of a pattern to the stripe. And of course it has the white accent going around it as well. But this uh, Glacier Gray, Glacier Gray is a pretty nice looking color. The Maki has a lot of grays, a lot of gray blue. Um, and again, this one looks really good. It looks like a little bit of a, a, a darker space white. Here's Liv. It She's does look like camera. a darker space white. I have to jump in. Uh, <laughs> I was having Patrick run this. He's got all the facts right there, but I gotta be honest, guys. Aesthetically, this looks even better than I thought it would in person. You know how Maki -E has all these amazing curves and it accentuates the curves with the black trim on our model, right? That's even more so here. And we have the texture differences with the matte finishes and this texture that's right here. This is a Glacier Gray. Glacier Gray, that is a hard word to say. Yes. Um, and then the grabber yellow, let's look at the comparison of the two because it looks fire on both of them. It looks so good. Yeah, let's get some just overview shots. Um, I wasn't sure if I would like the white wheels. Like I almost was like, can we get black wheels with this? But in person, it looks really good. It does look good also with the white on the Maki -E Rally. Like it kind of unifies it because I also thought the white wheels looked a little bit um, detached, but with the Maki Rally being white as well, it looks so good. And then this looks really good. Uh, I'm, you know, of course we like Grabber Blue, but uh, this Glacier Gray with the black and the white wheels looks excellent. It, and the matte on top here, it's actually not entirely completely matte. It's a bit of a satin. Yeah, it satin, looks yeah. so good. And the glossy black on top, it's just it like really delineates all the curves. It, it looks awesome in person. Like it looks good online, but it looks even more awesome in person. Yeah, and the rear spoiler is just something to behold because it's so like in your face how big it is. And contrasting with the, the yellow here really shows how massive that, that spoiler is. And we'll get you some good looks at it now. Uh, and let me see try to give you all the angles of this and we'll have some photos we'll probably put those on twitter 
as soon yeah. as we can. So probably before this video comes out. I love this color so much, so much. This is the color we've been waiting for, right? I, oh, it's I, so good. I, I thought we'd want a, like an electric green, but the yellow looks really fantastic. Because it's a little bit of a greeny yellow. In the same way that cyber orange is like an orangey yellow, this is a greeny yellow. Well, we also have this blue carpet that I think is reflecting, making it look a little That's green, probably but, true, yeah. Um, so anyways, we, we can't get in now. Hopefully we got some extra footage. We're going to supposedly get a walkthrough of this uh, in a couple hours. And if so, we'll add some footage. But otherwise, like you can see in there, I'm just moving the camera around. Just to... And if we don't get to go in, we'll just tell you now that that same texture that's present on the, the stripes is actually present on the dash. I want to hit zoom. Let's see if I can. There we go. Oh, there. Can you guys see yeah, that? Move your hand. I'm sorry. Yeah, then... that same texture. It's so cool. <clears throat> it's so cool. And it's present right there. We'll go back out. And of course you can't see in the back. You can see us, hello. Mm. Uh, what else should we look at? Just want to make sure you guys get the, the overall look. Let's take a closer look at the, the fog uh, lights up here. Glossy black mirrors. Hey. Um, so here are the, the little fog lights here. And again, the satin black. The logo, I'm trying to look and like, does it light up? I don't think it lights up. Almost a good view of the inside. Oh yeah. Here. Obviously, there's a lot of uh, a lot of bright lights, but ooh, those seats look good. They're the GT yeah, seats, but they have so white good. accents. Yeah. So uh, the white accents uh, sort of help some of the other details of the seat pop. Um, the only thing I'm I'm not really sure of. Let me go over on the driver's side. Is the the behind the seats uh, that have the white? It's a lot of white facing back there, and it's a glossy white. Um, but it's not the entire seat. It's only like the surrounding the frame. And then I'll see if I can get a, a little bit of video of the, the steering wheel. And uh, it still has 480 horsepower, has 650 uh, pound-feet of torque. So should be a lot of fun. And I didn't mention, but uh, of course it has the rally sport mode, which they haven't really given us details too much on it. It says it allows more yaw basically allowing you to kick the tail out a little bit more. Uh, just notice the little white trim going all the way across the dash. So sort of tying in the white wheels, which helps the overall look. But uh, the Rally Sport Mode, uh, I imagine it's a little bit similar to the uh, Unbridled Extend on the, the regular GT. There's some speculation, that are there any other performance enhancements? Uh, we don't know. Hopefully there is, and as soon as we get those details, we will, of course, update you uh, as much information as that we can get. But First of all, I just really want to say thank all of you guys for being part of the Mustang Mach-E family. I know you guys are some of our most enthusiastic and best customers out there, and you're frankly singing our praises out, out there a lot as well, and also being uh, our harshest critics at times also, which we, we love all the feedback. Um, so thanks for coming out to NIAS. This is great. Uh, obviously, we just came out with the Mach-E rally last week. So some of the first people ever seeing this in person. Uh, awesome preview day here at NIA. So this is an all new chapter in Mustang's nearly six decade history. First time ever we're taking Mustang off road. And this is the first ever rally inspired electric SUV. Um, so let's talk about a little bit here. First, you can see the unique rally inspired styling both inside and out in a package that only Mustang can deliver. So let's take a look, you know, we'll, we'll go front to back at this point. Um, let's point out, so we'll, we'll look at both what's unique to rally as well as the Mustang DNA that you see. So first of all, we've got the long, long hood, shark bite nose, trapezoidal grill. Those are all key pillars of, of Mustang DNA. You'll probably notice here, we've got a, a different finish on the grill we also have rally inspired LED fog lights, completely different front fascia and splitter. And you also, another key piece of uh, Mustang DNA are the aggressive tri-bar headlamps as well. Um, coming back a little bit, we, where, the, where the rubber now meets the dirt road, we have Michelin Cross Climate 2 tires, 19 inch rally high uh, white high gloss durable wheels. And then um, obviously this is an electric vehicle that also seats five people. So we've got our charging port, 
and we've improved the 10 to 80 percent charge time by about seven minutes. So we're right about uh, 36 minutes now charging from 10, 10 to uh, 10 to 80 percent. Now, if you guys want to come back here a little bit, little bit more, um, if you get a, to sneak a peek inside, you'll notice that we have Ford Performance seats with the more aggressive bolstering. We do have high gloss white accents on the interior to match those white wheels. Um, and we also have tons of technology in, inside the vehicle. So Rally will come standard with Blue Cruise 1.3, which versus Blue Cruise 1.0 stays in hands-free mode about five times as long. So we're really, really excited about that. The other thing that we have is the Rally Sport Drive Mode, which is gonna allow you to really get aggressive on loose, surp on loose surfaces. So it's gonna have linear throttle mapping to give the driver full control when they wanna slide. Uh, super excited for you guys to get behind the wheel of that as well. The other thing is we look at the side profile, um, another key piece of Mustang DNA, that high belt line. You also have these striking lines that go from front to back, almost like tendons cutting through muscle, gives it a fast look even when it's still seated. The other thing, of course, we have the iconic Mustang Fastback and now draped by a dramatic rear spoiler that took inspiration from the Focus RS. Um, the other thing that you'll see from the side view is we actually raised this vehicle by 20 millimeters. So these tires actually would not fit on the vehicle without a lift. So we have a real lift and added ride height from the tires as well. Um, a couple of things you can't see, we have the E all wheel drive dual motor system and we did harden the underbody with uh, protective shielding for when you are engaging in the type of driving we want you to be engaged with uh, on, the, on this vehicle. Not shown here, but we will also have a standard protective paint film on the door cladding and, and uh, rear fenders. Um, the, my favorite part about the car, I'm currently a Mustang Mach-E GT Performance Edition driver, as I know many of you are, is the addictive acceleration. It's gonna get even better with this Mach-E rally. So we're gonna have at least 650 pound-feet of torque on this vehicle, 480 horsepower, and we're gonna do zero to 60 in less than 3.5 seconds. So we're super excited for more people to be able to experience the, the freedom and fun that is Mustang in places that it, where Mustang has never gone before. So really, really appreciate you guys being here today and happy to chat a little bit more one-on-one -on -one after this. Thank you so much. Thank you. No problem. Does the pony light up on the It is a lit pony. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I think that's it for this video. That's our quick overview. Um, we're gonna try to get more information on this. We're gonna go take a tour of the rest of the Ford booth. We're gonna take a look at all EVs here at the Detroit Auto Show. So subscribe for more content and we will definitely get more Mach-E coverage. We're gonna take a ride in Blue Cruise 1.3 today as well. So we got a lot of really good stuff coming up from the North American International Auto Show. Thanks to our patrons for helping us get here today specifically. And as Liv would say, I'm not even gonna try it. I wanna just make her say it. Always remember that whatever you drive, whether it's Grab or Yellow or Glacier White, was that Glacier Gray, even if you can't pronounce it. Enjoy the ride. Bye.